Have you ever wondered why so many people are drawn to conspiracy theories, even when evidence points to the contrary? This is a question that has puzzled many, and it's what we're going to explore today as we delve into the intriguing world of conspiracy theories. Conspiracy theories have been a part of society since time immemorial. They span across cultures, geographies and generations, captivating the human imagination. From the notion that the moon landing was a hoax, to the belief that the world is governed by secret societies, these theories are as varied as they are numerous. And while we're not here to endorse or debunk these theories, it's interesting to observe their prevalence and the hold they have over people. But what drives this allure? What makes conspiracy theories so enticing that they manage to persist, even when faced with a barrage of contradicting evidence? One perspective is that it's rooted in our basic human tendency to seek patterns and make sense of the world around us. We're hardwired to find meaning in chaos, to connect dots, and to construct narratives that explain the inexplicable. It's a survival mechanism, honed by evolution, that has helped us navigate the complexities of life since the dawn of humanity. Conspiracy theories take this instinct and amplify it. They offer elaborate explanations, weaving intricate narratives that promise to unveil hidden truths. They present a world that's more ordered, more predictable and paradoxically, more controllable, despite the nefarious powers that supposedly pull the strings. They tap into our innate desire for certainty in an uncertain world, and this is a potent lure indeed. But it's not just about making sense of chaos. Conspiracy theories also provide a sense of belonging and identity. They create in-groups and out-groups, fostering a sense of camaraderie among believers and offering a shared purpose against a common enemy, real or imagined. Now, with a basic understanding of why conspiracy theories are attractive, let's delve into the fascinating world of psychology to understand their allure better. So, what exactly compels us to believe in conspiracy theories? The answer lies deep within our minds. Our cognitive biases play a significant role in our susceptibility to conspiracy theories. Two biases stand out in this regard, confirmation bias and proportionality bias. Confirmation bias is our tendency to seek out and favour information that confirms our pre-existing beliefs while disregarding conflicting evidence. This bias can lead us down the rabbit hole of conspiracy theories. We find snippets of information that seem to confirm the conspiracy, and we ignore the vast evidence that contradicts it. Then we have proportionality bias. It's our inclination to believe that big events must have big causes. The idea that a lone gunman could change the course of history is deeply unsatisfying to us. We crave a more substantial, more complex explanation. This bias pushes us towards conspiracy theories that provide grand, intricate explanations for significant events. Beyond cognitive biases, conspiracy theories also offer psychological comfort. They give us a sense of superiority, control and security. Believing in conspiracy theories can make us feel smarter than others. We're the ones who've seen through the lies after all. They also offer an illusion of control in a chaotic world. If everything is controlled by shadowy elites, then nothing is truly random. Lastly, conspiracy theories provide a sense of security. They present a clear enemy and a clear narrative, which can be comforting in a world that often seems confusing and scary. However, our mindset alone does not explain our fascination with conspiracy theories. Social factors also play a role. Isolation, for instance, can make us more prone to believe in conspiracy theories. If we feel disconnected from society, we might be more likely to believe that society is against us. Similarly, marginalization can foster belief in conspiracy theories. If we feel that mainstream society has rejected or ignored us, we might be more inclined to reject and ignore mainstream narratives. Instead, we might find solace in conspiracy theories that validate our feelings of alienation. As we see, the roots of conspiracy theories lie deep within our cognitive processes, emotional needs, and social contexts. While conspiracy theories might seem harmless or even entertaining, they can have serious societal implications. Let's delve into this. Conspiracy theories, by their nature, often involve a profound sense of mistrust in established institutions. While questioning authority is a healthy aspect of a democratic society, an overabundance of distrust can lead to a breakdown in societal cohesion. When individuals start to believe that every major event is the result of a hidden, malevolent force, it fosters an environment of paranoia and division. This division is not just ideological, 
it can manifest in concrete, physical ways. For instance, think about how the spread of misinformation can cause public health crises. Without naming specifics, we can all recall instances where conspiracy theories have led to the rejection of scientific consensus, causing preventable diseases to spread or hampering the response to global emergencies. Moreover, conspiracy theories can also lead to a decline in civic engagement. When people believe that the entire system is rigged against them, they may feel that their vote or their voice doesn't matter. This can result in lower voter turnout, less community involvement, and a general sense of apathy towards societal issues. What's more, when conspiracy theories become mainstream, they can even influence policy decisions. Leaders who subscribe to these theories or use them to their advantage might enact policies based on falsehoods, leading to misguided and potentially harmful actions. But perhaps the most insidious effect of conspiracy theories is how they exploit and enhance our fears and prejudices. By creating an us versus them narrative, they often scapegoat vulnerable or marginalized groups, leading to increased discrimination and hostility. In essence, the dangers of conspiracy theories are not just about the spread of false information. They can lead to societal division, hinder effective responses to crises, and foster an environment of fear and prejudice. Thus, it is crucial to understand and address the psychological and social factors that contribute to the spread of conspiracy theories. So, why do we, as humans, get so entangled in the web of conspiracy theories? It's a question that's been at the heart of our discussion today. We've journeyed through the allure of conspiracy theories, the psychological factors that fuel their popularity, and the potential consequences they can have on society. Let's take a moment to recap these important points. We began by discussing the allure of conspiracy theories. These narratives offer a simplified explanation for complex events, and they can be incredibly seductive. Conspiracy theories provide a sense of control and predictability in an unpredictable world. They create a clear narrative where there's a villain to blame and a mystery to solve. And perhaps most importantly, they make us feel special, like we're privy to secret knowledge that others don't have. From there, we dived into the psychology behind why people believe in conspiracy theories. Cognitive biases play a big role here. Confirmation bias leads us to seek out information that supports our existing beliefs and ignore information that contradicts them. Proportionality bias makes us want to believe that big events have big causes. And then there's pattern recognition, our brain's tendency to see patterns where none exist, fueling our belief in conspiracies. We also looked at the social factors involved. Conspiracy theories thrive in times of uncertainty and fear. They can provide a sense of community and belonging to those who feel marginalized or distrustful of mainstream narratives. They can also serve as a tool for expressing political or social discontent. But conspiracy theories aren't without their consequences. They can undermine trust in institutions, fuel social division, and even inspire dangerous actions. They can lead to the vilification of innocent people and create a culture of fear and paranoia. Now that we've recapped our journey, it's important to consider how we can counter the allure of conspiracy theories. One key strategy is to foster critical thinking. This means questioning our own beliefs, seeking out diverse sources of information and being open to changing our minds in the face of new evidence. Equally important is maintaining an open mind. This doesn't mean blindly accepting every conspiracy theory that comes our way. Instead, it means being willing to consider different perspectives, even those that challenge our own beliefs. In conclusion, our fascination with conspiracy theories is a complex phenomenon driven by psychological and social factors. They can be enticing narratives that make sense of an unpredictable world, but they can also have serious consequences. By understanding these factors and fostering critical thinking and open-mindedness, we can resist the lure of these seductive narratives. Remember, Understanding our own minds is the first step in resisting the lure of conspiracy theories. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more insights into the fascinating world of psychology.